Ever looked up at a skyscraper and wondered, who built this? Hmm. An architect? An engineer? A builder? Well, yeah, all of these people play a role in designing and constructing a building. A project like this needs a team of hundreds of people, and like any great team, they need a leader. In fact, a project this huge needs a whole team of leaders. Let me introduce you to a few of them. Let's say a property developer has already selected the site and decided that it's ideal for a brand spanking new skyscraper. Yeah. Where do we start? Call in the bulldozers and start preparing the site? Pour the concrete? Hold on, this is a huge project. We need to do a little planning first. So we've appointed Kim as senior project manager. Hi. The leader of our team of leaders. Kim's got years of experience in this game. She'll map out the whole process from start to finish. Who else? Well, there's Max, our design manager, who works with the architect and the engineer to design the perfect building. It's got to be beautiful, it's got to be functional, it's got to be really, really tall, and it's got to stay up. Max is pretty important. Without him on board, we could end up with a really dodgy building. Max gives the plans to Jamie, our quantity surveyor. He figures out how much it's all going to cost. It takes a huge pile of cash to build something on this scale. But without Jamie keeping an eye on the bottom line, how you doing? it could take a massive pile of cash. Jamie works closely with Steve, the construction scheduler. Hi. Steve's job is to figure out how long everything's going to take. Like, if it takes 10 workers two and a half years to build a 20-storey building, how long will it take 50 workers to build a 120-storey building? Uh, never mind. Let's just say that without Steve, it will take a really, really long time. What next? Don't we need some cranes and bulldozers? How about a plumber, painter and an electrician? We sure do. That's why Amy, our contract manager, is organising all the contractors. The people who do all the hands-on stuff. Hi. Without Amy, well, not much would happen at all. Now we're ready to get started. Bring on the bulldozers, pour the concrete, and lay the footings. Up go the columns, in go the slabs, on goes the cladding, and that's pretty much it. We just need to connect the utilities, paint a few walls, tile some floors, and voila. One skyscraper delivered right on schedule. That last bit can take quite a while. Anywhere between a few months and two years, actually. But don't worry, Kim was keeping an eye on things the whole time, making sure everyone did their job safely. Without her, who knows where we could have ended up. What do you think? Want to join this exciting team? Perhaps you're cut out for a career in construction management. The perks? Well, the prospects are great. In but what do Kim, Max, Jamie, Amy and Steve love best about their jobs? At the end of the day, they get to say, I built this.